Gina, thank you. At 602, we begin with the very latest on the Eyewitness News Alert we've been tracking all week long. Customers of the Kent County Water Authority hoping this will be the third straight day the tests for E. coli come back negative. That will clear the way for the boil water advisory to be lifted for tens of thousands of Rhode Islanders. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is following new details. He joins us live with a look at the day ahead. Andrew? Yeah, we are here at the Kent County Water Authority where they continue to pass every step in the process towards getting clean water back. For affected residents, they can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel and it can't come soon enough. It's now been three days since about 80,000 local residents were put under a boil water order. It all started on Sunday when it was discovered that a water sample tested positive for E. coli bacteria. The public was notified later on Sunday through media reports. After two straight days of clean testing, people are still being forced to follow this boil advisory. That's because a third sample currently being tested needs to come back clean before the next turtle can be cleared. Even then, though, the head of the authority says folks might have to wait some more. That tank will not come back online right now. Even if the system is allowed to go back into full operation with no boil water, that tank is not coming back online yet. Now, the tank in question actually carries about 20% of the county's water, so obviously a very big part of the system. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to hear from one local lawmaker who says that this entire process is flawed. For now, live with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.